And what the wife wants, the wife gets, correct? Happy wife, happy life. Something like that, right? Hey guys, welcome back to Cairn Creek. Up here in Hayburn and Barn again for this episode. This will be two episodes in one week. Boom! I'm Jeremy here in Southern Ohio at Cairn Creek. Hall panel railing. Now this stuff can be done inside or outside. I don't want to sit and tell you all about it. Let's show you how we made it. I'll be honest with you, up to a few weeks ago, I didn't know anything about this particular railing pad. Thanks to Pinterest, Miss Kim showed me some pictures to help me clarify and understand how it's supposed to look. At Cairn Creek, we balk at no project. And as you can see, we've got the inspector with us here today. He's keeping us in order. These maple 6x6 posts should be beautiful after we get them cut down to size and get them planed through the planer. I think they're going to turn out beautiful. On this little railing project, we're going to use all maple species. Lucky for us, we have some maple we cut on our wood miser several months ago. First thing we'll have to do is figure out our post locations. And we're going to hopefully bury those posts down in the floor system. That way we can pass them to the joist and get some strength back and forth. That's what we're going to do right now. really interesting at this point in this little project right now I have no clue what I'm doing I'm not a carpenter definitely not a finished carpenter you know we got this ceiling up we've done some some work one of the things I guess I should stress the way I'm doing all these projects I'm going out to our wood pile I'm trying to find something dry so in this case I'm using all maple on this railing project the process is not quite as quick more satisfying heck yeah quickness no because I'm these boards are all random sizes, so I'm ripping them down to size, I'm playing them. Uh, that's, I guess, one of the advantages of store-bought lumbers. You know what you're dealing with, you know your sizes, you know they're dry, you know the species. Like I said, it's still satisfying to do it this way. The point I was trying to make is right now, I don't know where I'm going with this. I've got some small pieces ripped to hold this mesh in place. Now, at the beginning of the video, you saw this finished product, so you know how it's going to look. Right now, I'm kind of winging it trying to fit and piecemeal this thing together so it works. But like I said, uh, I think it's cool it's what the wife wants, what the wife gets. All right, we're ready to put these trim pieces on and we're ready to cut the wire mesh and, uh, and start doing this, I guess, the final touches. Mm-hmm. We just had a major monsoon here. Coco's down there power washing. We gotta take the skid loader and the bulldozer out to our county fair. We're gonna do an event this Friday. I think you guys see a little action on that video of the autocross track that we build and execute. It's kind of a hot mess, but it's uh should be good content. Not in our niche, but I sure do have a hot mess down here still. <laughs> All the horses are at the fairgrounds. So I have a 10 day stretch here where there's no horses, just me and the flies and Coco. So to bring this whole project into context, let's enter the tack room. Oh, the mini split. It's struggling. So down here it feels awesome. Upstairs, it's miserable. It's miserably hot. Here's a nice tight stair system leading up to paradise. Maple backsplashes here on these risers. I went from rough cut maple to the plain maple. We had to make a transition point somewhere. And here's this railing. It's pretty structural. 
I'm still gathering my thoughts. I think once she stains it, it's gonna bring it back to life. Uh, I'm definitely happy we used the maple from the farm here. Farmstead chores, oh yeah. All right guys, we burnt the midnight oil on this debauchery right here. Obviously a different type of railing. It's what the white one is. I don't think it looks too bad. It's definitely structural. It's strong enough to serve its purpose as a railing, so it does function. It does look different. I think it'll really jump out once she gets her stain or whatever she wants to do on it. She's got a lot of stain to catch up. She's still got the ceiling to do. She's got this. She's got some outside stuff to do. Her list of stain and clear coat is getting humongous. Well guys, I think that's all I got for you in this episode. I wanted to keep this video short and sweet and they always just run a little bit longer than I want them to. Some of y'all want longer videos and, and I can tell by the retention rate that some of you don't want longer, longer videos just because people, I can tell that people don't watch them all the way through. Uh, always something different, obviously at Cairn Creek. We're not afraid to try anything. To recap on this upstairs project, next up's the floor project. I don't want to do the flooring until she gets the ceiling stained and gets, gets the rest of that stuff done. Then I'll do the flooring and the baseboard trim. I don't have the form yet. She's got to decide what she wants. I guess so the ball is back in Miss Kim's court for me to get moving, but I have so much to do start in September. I've got to get out of this barn upstairs. I've got to give her something to do to keep her happy. So the good news is that's the last episode for now up here. I'm done swinging the hammer, fine tuning my, my carpentry skills, which makes me so excited for the next episode, which is going to be outside. It's going to be running equipment. It's going to be building an autocross race now we used to have a motocross track and we promoted events so we still do one autocross race at our local fair definitely outside the Cannon creek niche but the content should be really interesting uh, i know you guys like to see the sawmill and some of the equipment we do so that day is going to be a lot of equipment work we're going to really bring something together have 15,000 of our friends come over and watch this autocross we put on probably around 150 contestants drive cars and trucks around a motocross style track at our local fair it's really exciting. The only part I don't look forward to is all the complaining because I'll get my ass chewed several times during the night. That's part, of, that's part of being the head promoter of such an event. So that's it for this debauchery tonight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Karen Creek, over and out.